Amanda's going to start tearing my sales page down. And then uh, any questions that she has, I'll be able to ask, answer them. Okay, Amanda, take it away. Okay, cool. So what I did is I kind of like already took some notes so that I could make sure like I hit all of the different points that I wanted to. Um, but I would like to first know from you as I'm going through this, because I kind of even put together some like ideas of things that you can say and different things like that. I would love to know from you first, before we dive in, what is the like number one drawing point for people to join the savvy community? Like what is that hook that you, th this is what makes your membership site different from other people? Yeah. I mean, I think the big thing, what, what people want to hear is that there's the education, which we have, and there's guest experts. I think the big thing that is the hook is that you actually get me as your coach every month. So that's mm -hmm. one of the big things you get to um, come in. We have a group coaching call every month and I literally give each person on the call a chance to ask me any questions. And then I kind of laser focus in on them. That's one of, that's the, one of the big things. I think the other thing is this is a place where women are taking, are taking action. So it's not, you know, like I think sometimes free Facebook groups, they're a place where um, you think you can go in and you can just do everything there for free. But I think what happens is people get stuck in there and they're not really taking the action to forward their business. And mm -hmm. so in this membership, it is for female entrepreneurs that are really taking action and forwarding their business. And so it's about that community aspect too. So I think there's the coaching side of it. Mm -hmm. um, there's the education portion of it. And then there's the community aspect that are the big, big sellers, I think. Okay, perfect. Because I'm glad I asked that because there's one giant thing missing from this sales page right now. And that is the fact that they're getting access to you. Like I not I see that. you were going to say this. Page. And that is because I think that that's the that's the biggest part. Like, I think with every membership site, there's always that community aspect. Right. But I think the huge drawing point for you is that they are getting access to you. So I'm glad I asked that. We're going to get into that section. Cool. But I wanted to know that first. Okay. okay. So right off the bat here, a lot of this stuff, like I usually talk about how to make the design look better, but you have an awesome designer on your team who knows what she's doing. So really like, I'm going to give you some tips as well, far as the design. like tell us the real scoop because well, I'm going ready to. Too. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm going to, okay. but I think sometimes like I used to only focus on design and there was a problem with that because copy and design are both so important and they're, they're both equally important copy is what is going to keep people reading, but the design is what hooks people right away. And like, Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. I need to read this. Right. And it's right. kind of, it makes everything flow nicely. So I want to talk both sides of the coin here. So right off the bat, the very top section yeah. where it says, are you building or growing your business, but feel stuck or all alone? I came up with a new like opening headline for you. I love it. I you can play around with. So here's what I would like to see something like this, um, right off the bat, something like grow your business alongside like-minded female entrepreneurs. So you can avoid that isolating feeling of trying to build a business online. Yes. That's so more, yeah. that's so much more compelling. Than what right. Like you just kind of like hook yeah. that, like, yes, that's exactly how I feel. That's what I want. That's what I would love to see, like something more like that, just more like impactful, okay. you know? Cool. So that's, that's number one on this opening headline section is right off the bat. Yep. Then when we scroll down, what I would like to do overall, I would just love for you to expand on these things. So okay. instead of just saying like, do you dream of a business that is profitable, impactful, and fun? I would like for you first to call out these people. So we've already hooked them, right? Grow your business alongside like-minded female entrepreneurs. So you can avoid that isolating feeling of trying to uh, build a business online. And then we go into making sure that they're in the right place. Right. So this this is the spot where you say like, if you are a, and then you can do like, I know a lot of the people in your community are creatives, um, online business owners. So I would say something like if you are a designer, photographer, virtual assistant, like call them out yeah. so that they know like, okay, this is me because there's so many membership sites online these days that I think that's the number one thing where people are like, I don't know if this is the right membership right. site for no. me. 
That's so true. Yeah. Right. So I think if we just call them out by, not by name, but basically by name, by their title, what kind of business they run, show them that they're in the right place and that they need to keep on reading. So that's number two for this section number two right here. Yeah. yeah. And then, Can I uh, just a second, Amanda? Sorry. Yeah. Anybody that has questions, by the way, as we're, oh, as yeah. we're watching this, please post them. We will get to them at the end here, um, whether you're, you can stay live or not. So just go ahead and post your, I'm seeing all of you in here. I just, um, I want to make sure she's able to like go through it. And so that it's really helpful for you. And then ask any questions you have about your sales page. So Amanda and I can get to them. So, okay. Yeah, for go sure. Ahead. Um, okay. So that's tip number two is call those people out so that they know they're in the right place. Quick question for the top, um, where I have, um, the button right under to join, Mm -hmm. is that okay to have it right away? Or is that, is that off putting? Um, yeah, I'm always interested in to hear about that because I, we didn't have it and then we did. And then, yeah, we've gone back and forth. I prefer, okay. So it really, it always depends on the offer. So because you are offering something that is only $59 a month, I feel like you can get away with that, but you could also try not having it. Like for me, like if I was offering a course that was like nine 97, I would not put the button there because I want things to to get out of video. Yeah. Yeah. But because it's only $59 a month, I think it's something it's, it's honestly, there's no like yes or no it's it's wrong or it's right it's yeah. basically like how familiar is your audience with with your offer like yeah. are they coming to the sales page with an awareness already of of the savvy community do they kind of know right. what it is already if so then yes you're okay including that button there okay. but if they are brand new and have no clue what the savvy community is about then I would say no don't include the button got it So hopefully that helps a little bit. Um, Okay. So scrolling down here. So before we get to this section, I want this section to be built out a little bit more. So tip number three here is, and you kind of started on it where we're kind of pulling out those core frustrations that they have right now, but I want you to dive deeper into those. So um, core frustration, number one, like you kind of, do you dream of a business that is profitable, impactful, and fun? Instead of saying something like that, I want you to dig into like, what are they actually doing right now? Like what is their daily, what is a daily or like a normal day in the life of their business look like right now? Okay. And why is that, why is that isolating? Why is that? Cause I know, for example, like you run into an issue and you just want to have someone to ask, like you just want to get feedback from someone or whatever. Cause I know like building an online business is, it is super isolating if you don't have that group of people there. So kind of pull those fears and frustrations out of them and put those down on the page. Okay. And really we're just, they know these things already, but we're just making them aware of it and right. showing them that you know how they feel. Got it. Okay. So that's tip number three is pull out more of those core frustrations. Um, then kind of, we're going to kind of go into this section. It's kind of like a halfway point right here. What I want you to do here is since your story, um, relates to where they are now and it kind of relates to that core frustration you're you're saying like I was I was once where where you were like I understand how you feel this is going to kind of be a transition point where we're introducing you telling them that you understand where they once were and then what I want you to do before we get into introducing your actual membership site I want you to paint them a picture of what it could look like being a member of the savvy community. Mm, so, yeah, so okay. Could, that makes sense. What, what could that day look like now that they have that community and access to you as a part of their life? Yeah. Okay. So pull that out. Got it. Um, okay. Then we can get into the actual offer here. So as far as like, as, as far as the design goes for a bunch of these, I mean, it's just like nitpicky things. Like I would want, this to be bigger. You know what I mean? Like I would want that to be bigger. And I think as you build out the copy there more, it will, it will shift and change and everything. The only other design critique that I really had was this section right here feels very blocky to me. I would figure out a way to just make this flow a lot better and probably well, it's move not showing up on there, but there's a, vi- there's a live video that's behind that. So, Oh, that's why it looks blocky. Yeah. So it's a, it's a video of me like 
welcome like throwing confetti confetti like welcoming you introducing the savvy oh, community yes i remember that okay yeah. so that's uh, that's in the white space that's what's behind there but i'm not sure that that's what needs to be there so right. okay that's good to know though because i was like ah oh, this white section is, is bothering my you. eyeballs <laughs> So that makes sense. I forgot that that was on there. Yeah. Um, okay. So let me go scroll back up here and let me see. I think for this section, there was really like, I really like the pop the confetti and get ready, get ready for biz besties. I think that's a great headline for this section. As you okay. go into introducing your offer, I think that's awesome. Like I said, really the only critique I had was just design wise around here. So okay. play around with that. Maybe we don't need that background image. Okay. Maybe this can all be just one image where we say introducing the savvy community. Um, I wouldn't even, I would play around with a button. <sighs> Yes. Okay. Yes. It's $59 a month. Let's just keep, let's keep the button there and then combine these sections and push this up, show the mock-up of the membership site and all that fun stuff. And I think, I think that section right there is great. I think just condense it a little bit more design wise. Cool. Okay. Nicolette just said she loves that line. So. I know me too. I'm like, don't get rid of that. Okay, keep okay. that, one. that one's keeping awesome. It. Yeah. Um, okay. So then we get into the experience. So then we are kind of taking them through all things, the savvy community. And this right. is where I really want to see you dig. You see what's really going on. As I want yeah. to show them what they're going to get rather than just tell them. Yeah. Okay. So now we're just telling them that they're getting quarterly planning sessions and savvy hour live. I want you to show them. And especially because you've been uh, running the savvy community for a few years now, you have those visual assets that you can use. Like for a brand new membership site, it's hard. You don't have that stuff yet. Yeah. But you're at the point now where you have that proof and you can show what a quarterly planning session looks like, what a savvy hour live looks like, all of that stuff. You can yeah. show that to them um, so that they can really like start to visualize what that would look like every single month inside of the community. So are you saying like actually like, because we used to have it where like you could see it was like a, it kind of like was a little box below like savvy hour live and you could like scroll kind of scroll in the box and it would show you like a little video. It was like an animated thing. Is mm -hmm. that, I mean, when I'm talking like how I'm showing them is, is there a way, is there a, a, a best practice? And like, cause I, I, I mean, do I show them all the things and break it out more or? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Like I would like, instead of design wise, let's switch gears design wise here. Instead of doing these columns right here, I want you to, I want you to treat this experience section like its own mini sales page. Got I want to call out. So quarterly planning sessions should be its own little section. I want you to dig really deep into what those quarterly planning sessions are, why somebody would want to do them and like how that's going to impact your business. Like yeah. what why are quarterly planning sessions important and same for all of them. Why are those important? Why do we need those? Because when someone joins a membership site, the last thing they want is like more stuff to do. Right? No, absolutely. So, yeah. And if we're giving them all of this education, which is awesome, we have to be able to show them why is this important for your business. Yes. So okay. I think that's why I, I want you just to kind of like break those out a little bit more. And then you were kind of saying like, how do I show them? I would like to see screenshots. Like I would like to see what does a quarterly planning session look like? Do we, can we show an example of what a 90 day plan looks like? Can we show you going live? That would probably be, work better for like the savvy hour live, yeah. but just really show them any type of visual that you can give them okay. um, to, to just kind of give them a taste of what it would look like Okay. and, and, and create that FOMO, you know, create yeah. that FOMO. I'm like, Oh, I really want that. So um, yeah, break out each of those sections, put those on their own little row in their own little sections, even, okay. and treat them kind of like with an online course, treat them like their own little modules. Okay. Maybe that, would that makes cool. sense. Okay. Yeah. Got it. I mean, because they're all, or even bonuses, I guess. Treat them like their own little bonuses. Okay. Um, now, same with the Savvy Roadmap. Like, this is not doing the Savvy Roadmap any justice yeah. whatsoever. Okay. There's so much good stuff in there. And this is just like, 
this is just, it's just not doing it. It's not showing why it's important. It's not showing what you're going to be able to do by the time you get to like, after you're done with the heart of your business, what is that? How's that going to help you? Mm, you know what I mean? Yeah, like okay. I really want you to dig more into those details. Again, this should be its own little mini sales page. This is like, this is an online course in your membership site. Right, 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 right. Okay. So this needs to, like, this isn't showing the value of the Savvy Roadmap at all. So I want you to build that out even more, too. Okay. Um, okay, let me make sure I didn't miss anything with this section. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, okay. So, yeah, build that whole section question out. For, question for yeah. that part. So with the, the Savvy Business Roadmap, is like, it's my framework of how I teach people to run their businesses, right? And so those are the six steps. We have worksheets, like multiple worksheets in each yeah. of those sections. Should I, should I vi like visualize that? Should I show that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, for okay. sure. Like if you have a video that goes, I would show like, like kind of like you did up here, kind of like you did up here, I would show for the heart of your business, if that includes like a video, do a MacBook with a video and then do some worksheets next to it. Like show that's just showing them the value of it. Like, what are you going to get? Is it just one PDF for each module or is it multiple lessons, you know, yeah. and just, but then I think once you do that, like it's, it's one thing to really like carve out like, Oh my gosh, here's all the stuff. But I think the most important part of the copy here is that you need to show them why it's important. Mm. So again, membership site, I'm joining for $59 a month. The last thing I want is more stuff on my to-do list. Right. Yeah. So, why is this important? Like, how is this going to help me like streamline my business? Yeah. So, got it. Okay. Okay. So then we go into this, what members have to say, but I actually want to, I'm going to kind of circle back to the testimonials in a little bit. Okay. What I would like for you to do right after you get done with outlining the entire experience of the savvy community yep. is to want you to go into what it costs and what the value of the membership site is. Yeah, so, I knew I was missing this part. Yes, like nowhere on here does it say anything about like the value, the actual value of what you're getting and then like sum it up. I mean, you can go into like, you get the entire savvy roadmap uh, training, plus you get these quarterly planning sessions. Like what are the value to each of these things? Yeah. Add that value and, and show that and then go, and you can join for $59 a month. Yeah, and I have all that. That's the crazy thing. I, I yeah. have it because I do it in the master class when I tell them about this. I have all that, but it's not on the sales page, which is crazy, yeah. I know. Okay. Right. Good point. So, yeah, that's what I want to see right after this is I want to see that whole investment section and and really just like it's, it's meant to like go like pow, like in their face, yeah. like this everything you're getting, but you can join today for only $59 a month. Yeah, Cause like, I mean, just, and I get it. Yeah. Cause it's like, you get a call with me. I don't do one-on-one -on -one calls with people. So like you get a call with me every single month as a coach and I actually deep dive into your business. And so that's, that's a huge value, like, you know, thousands of dollars and I don't even have it. Really no, on no, here, here. no, really. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is why you need experts to help you in your business because I can do, I could, I do this for the gals that I help in the mastermind all the time. But when you're doing it for yourself, you forget. These totally, different. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. totally different. Yep. Totally different. Um, and then I think the other thing just to mention here, like you have kind of an advantage to this investment section because your membership site is only $59 a month. You know what I mean? Like, and there, you just provide so much value there. Like that is definitely, if I had to say, if there was anything that you could add to your sales page today, it would be that. Like okay. that section would, I think, be the most important thing to add today. Okay. So, okay. Then um, what's your guarantee for the membership site? Like what, do you have a guarantee as far as like they join and they're not happy or do they have to pay for the one? It's month? monthly. So if they're, okay. if it's, you know, they, no, we, it, it's not, you, there's no trial period. It's like, okay. you have, you can join for the month. And then if you decide you don't want to be a part of it, you, you, you pay for that month basically. And you're good to go. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. I wanted to double check. Um, so we probably don't even need that section then. I would say maybe, and maybe do you do that on the FAQ? Let me see. Um, oh, there it is. Okay. Perfect.
Oh, yes. Do I? I yes. Test I talked about that in the FAQ. Yeah. That's yes. the only thing in the FAQ, which I know needs to be more of. That's, yep, that's yeah. going to be. We're, gonna get that. We're getting to that one. It's on my <laughs> list. Your popcorn, people. <laughs> Where's that Michael Jackson gif? <laughs> That's one of my favorites. Yep. <laughs> um, okay, so let's talk about testimonials then. So what I would love to see is, number one, I don't like these sliders because I don't think they pack enough, like, punch for, like, how many testimonials you actually have yeah. when they're scrolling. I want to just yeah. see them. Page. And you can't really read them. <laughs> they they, they no. scroll so quickly you can't even read them. Oh, good job, Heather. Yep. That's awesome. Yep, I would take that. them. <laughs> I know we're trying to like save space and like condense everything as much as possible. Right. But I think when it comes to a membership site, I think that the social proof is more important than ever because people are staying for that community and they want to know who the heck is in this community already. And like, what are the good things they have to say about it? Yeah. So, yeah. I want, I want honestly just like, like just in your face, how many testimonials you have about the savvy community yep. and just like, just put them all in one spot. I think one of the biggest things and all in one I, spot, really? I would put them all in one spot. Yes. Oh, because okay. I think the, I think the issue when people spread out testimonials on a sales page is they don't, it's not as much, Oh, well, sorry. You're getting a call. I don't think it has as much impact when yeah. spread them out, you that know, yeah, because you go like, oh, okay, here are three cool testimonials. Then you keep reading, and then you have, oh, here are a couple more testimonials. Like, I think it is so much more impactful when you have just all of them right there. And not even, like, they're not going to read them all, right? They might read right. a few. But I think it's just, like, visually being able to see how many people are saying good things about the savvy community is what they think in their head. Got it. And, yeah, yeah. and for all of you that are asking questions, we will get to them. I see the questions rolling in. So um, just keep asking your questions and we'll, we'll ask Amanda at the end here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So let me go. Okay. So then the, so this is kind of like the, um, let me see here. Okay. So we can kind of. This is kind of the spot where you said call out for who it is. Yeah, and I think we can reiterate that again down here. So this is kind of like the uh, what I call the perfect for you if uh, section yeah, of your sales. Okay. So I think what you can do here, I love this, the you belong here, and I think make this easier to read because this is really hard to read right now. Yeah. Um, and then bullet point this. So yeah. So that like immediately pull out like, oh, that's me. Yeah. You know, so make that a lot easier to read as well. Okay. Um, okay. And then also the other thing that I would like to see here, just as far as in the perfect for you section is talk about, go into more detail about like, are they beginning business owners more advanced? Like talk about where they are. And I know you do like the number thing, which would be kind of cool to do here. Like kind of go into that a little bit more, like how far along in my business do I need to be? Is this yeah, new, yeah, yeah. more advanced stuff like that? So it's just, they just really know right away if this is for them or not, basically. Yeah. Before. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I know like if, if, when I've been interested in joining a membership site, like I can see, okay, there's designers here and stuff. That's great. But what level of business are they, are these people actually in? Like, am I going to be way below and not have any idea what anybody's doing? Or am I going to be way advanced and not be learning anything, you know? So I think, making them just feel more confident with their decision by just telling them like, this is exactly who belongs here. This isn't for people who had just started their business. You're not, right. gonna, you're not, you're going to feel completely overwhelmed. Here. Yeah. 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 Overwhelmed. yeah. Yeah. Okay. So then what I would like for you to do is I know we talk about you higher up on the page, but I would like to kind of talk about you again, okay. because you are such an important part of the membership site. Okay. I would like to go more into, and I'm not sure what you talk about. I know you talk about like your story as far as like you were, you were once where they are, but I want you now to talk about your credentials. Mm, okay. I want you to go into like oh, what, what I'm not good at. Okay. This will I know help you're good at this. Though. Let us know if you need any help. <laughs> Oh, but I, what am I good at, guys? I, no. I, I think you really need to like just brag about yourself a little bit more here. Tell them what you've been able to do and why you are the person that they want leading them in this community. Okay. Is this, I mean, 
Because this is where I'm not good because I don't like, I, you know, I don't like braggy stuff. I, I yeah. know. But I also know you need to s show your authority. Yeah. So what, can you give me an example? Like not a specific, it doesn't have to be specific to me, but maybe it's to you. Like, what are the things that you include in there without like, I hate it when people are like, I've been featured in this and this and this. And I'm like, okay, enough about that. Like, I don't, is there a rule or, or not a rule, but like something that you suggest for yeah. what people include there? Yeah. So what I would start with is obviously just like a little bit of a background on where you came from. If you haven't talked about that already, if you already talked about that in that upper section, then I would just kind of like reiterate it a little bit, kind of just get them up to speed just in case they missed that section. Yeah. Talk about your background, how you got to where you are now. Talk about that you used to own a wedding planning business and you had a partner and you sold that business. Like that, show them that you have been in business. Like you know business and you've been here for a while. I've had and courses, then, I've done really well with them. Yeah. I've had, you know, conferences that sold out. Like the, I, yes. I got it. Okay. Yes. yes. Okay. Go into the background, like what you've been able to accomplish. Other things that you can include here are like, things that you believe in. So for membership, for this membership site and just knowing you, like, I think really you need to drive home the point of the whole concept of creating the savvy business and hold on. What is it? Life, yeah. Fulfilling life. Like not so I being on the hustle and the grind, like yes. actually making it flow within your life. Yeah. Yes. I think you need to drive the, that that's what makes you different. Right. So I think yeah. that's, what you really need to call out here. Got it. Um, and then the other thing too, which we kind of talked about earlier, but you could then go into like why you created the membership site in the first place yep. and just kind of reiterate that again. Okay. Yeah. That's a couple ideas. Um, okay. So then after this, what we're going to call like the perfect for you section, okay. then what I would love for you to do. Okay. And you kind of do it right here. The friend, what are you waiting for? I want this to be your, why now is the time? Right. Why? But the, but the, why, but the <laughs> But the copy is too little and we need to yes. be able to read it. <laughs> yes. Yep. And I want you to go into more. Like I want you to dive into more. Like if they exit off of this page today and they don't join, what is the, what are they missing out on? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I want you to go into, and I like this friend, are you waiting for? Like, I think some of your headlines are really great. Like I, I feel like they're very personal, very casual. And that's kind of like what the environment is. Yeah. And, the savvy community. And I think that is awesome. And I think just really just go more into the details there of like, what are they going to be missing out on? Again, this is like that whole FOMO, like yeah. what are they going to be missing out on if they click off of this page right now and don't join? Okay. So we talked about testimonials. Good there. Okay. So only two more things. So FAQs, you already know this, like yeah. we need to beat these FAQs up yeah. big time, right? <laughs> This is, this is basically where we can just summarize our sales page in bullet point form. So we can go into who is the savvy community for what level of business, like those things that we talked about in the perfect for you section, yeah. basically just reuse those and put them into bullet point form. And the reason we do that is because like, I know I'm a sales page skimmer. Like I do not read right. an entire sales page. Yeah. I usually go to like the most important sections and then I go to the FAQ section. And that is kind of like the summary of the sales page. That's where I'm getting all of that information. So definitely add more to the FAQ section. Okay. Yeah. And isn't this kind of like where if they've gotten here and like they still have, they don't know for sure, this is like overcoming their objections too? Basically, yeah. they're, they're basically ready to join, but they have like one little thing that is stopping them from joining at this okay. point. Yeah. So I think the FAQ section is, yeah, it's that little getting them past that little hurdle and getting them to join, which then leads me to my last and final thing. Okay. I want you, I want to see one more final call to action here. I don't want them to have to scroll up to find it. I want another okay. button under here. Got it. Okay. Yep. Cool. And you can even reiterate the value as well. Okay. I like to just kind of duplicate the investment section and just condense it a little bit more. Just pull out like, remember, you're getting all of this, but you can join today for $59 a month. Cool. Yeah. Okay. So that wasn't so bad. No, okay. I think that was going to be nice. <laughs> you were nice. I appreciate that. 